Okay, this is properties of matter. We're going to start out with a definition of matter. Okay, anything that has mass and takes up space. Uh, is said to be matter. Okay, so we're going to look at the properties of these matter. Okay, you've got uh, physical properties and chemical properties. So we're going to talk about physical properties first. Okay, physical properties, uh, those that can be observed without changing the identity. So things like uh, color, texture, uh, mass, okay, anything that you can tell uh, volume about the the sub about the substance without changing what it is. All right. So most of your properties that you're thinking off the top of your head are going to be physical properties. Okay. Uh, examples: color, density. Okay, um, melting point, boiling point, freezing point, okay, any phase changes, those are all going to be physical properties, okay, and you may ask, you know, what about boiling water? Well, it's still water, it just happens to be a gas now, it's just steam, okay, so the second one uh, is chemical. All right, and chemical properties are those that cannot be observed without changing the substance. So those that cannot be observed or measured without changing the substance. And when we say changing the substance, I'm, we mean chemically, okay, on the molecular level. Uh, so if we want to find out if something burns, the only way to find that out is to set it on fire. So flammability is going to be a chemical property, okay? And then if it does burn, then it changes the chemical makeup of it, okay? You can't get back something that you've burned. Okay, you can't get back a piece of paper that you've burned. You can't get back the piece of wood that you that you burn. Okay. Second example uh, is reactivity. Okay, and reactivity is a broad reactivity. That's a large V. Uh, is a broad term. So reactivity with air, reactivity with acids, reactivity with bases. Okay, anytime you see the word reactivity, you know that that is a chemical property. Okay. Um, so let's just do a few examples here. All right, uh, boiling point. Mm, smell. Concentration. And reactivity to water. All right, so if we were to look at each one of these and determine you know, whether it's a chemical property or a physical property, boiling point, that's a phase change, so that's going to be uh, physical. Smell, you can smell something and, and determine what that is without changing what it is, so again, that's going to be physical. Concentration, uh, how much of one thing is inside of something else, you know, how much sugar is inside of water, or how much uh, salt is inside of water, so the concentration of something. Uh, again, you can find that out without changing it, so that's going to be physical. Okay, and then reactivity. There's your there's your key word, reactivity to water. That's going to be chemical. Okay, uh, that is properties of matter.